Hi guys, it's Inspirational Nails. I'm so excited to show you guys this. Um, I want to show you how cool you can use these stamping guides to make marble, dry marble designs for your nails. And I've been playing around with this and oh my god, I am so excited to show you this because when you see how easy this is to use the guide, it is so easy. Um, you can do it two ways. Um, you're, you can leave it to where you can actually pick up the image with a, a stamping, a stamper, or you can let it dry. So the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need a, a base color that you want to use. I'm going to use this yellow. Um, it's called Lightning from um, InstaDrive from Sally Henson. And then I'm just going to use uh, black and white here from Broadway. Okay, and then I'm using the Bundle Monster Stamping Guide SG01, and this is the one with the full image plates. And you can also use um, all of the images in order to do this, especially like the different shaped images. Um, but I really want to show you this on the full image first. So what you want to do is we're going to start off this one here. And we're going to make sure, one thing is really important is to make sure that it is fully covered okay and then you 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 are going to need um a dotting tool and what you're going to do is going to take your black and you're just going to drop some drops in there you're going to take your white and also go in now again i'm only using the colors that i want that i think look good for this and um I'm just going to kind of make a little design. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect because marbleizing isn't perfect. So I'm going on to the next one. Now, please keep in mind, I am using a stamping mat. Okay, it does have to be on top of a stamping mat in order for this to work. So that is an important part there. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just gonna do a design. Okay, next one. And all I'm doing is making sure that the polish is fully covered in that kind of well. Keep in mind that um, the bundle monsters guides are kind of thick so they will be more deeper the well I guess if that's the best way I can explain it okay so I'm just gonna continue until I finish all five of these and I'll be back okay so now that I've finished marbleizing all five of them for this one you can let them completely dry and uh, they will be decals because then um, you can actually just lift them off and pull them off and they'll be decals. Um, or you can actually stamp the stamper before it completely dries so that um, it actually adheres I'm gonna do to the is stamper. On so this more um, like a French type of image here. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing, but we're gonna pick up the image. Okay, so I'm going to, now for this, because I kind of want a clean look, I'm going to scrape off that kind of, um, the excess that's there. And I'm just going to take my black here and my white. Okay, and then just take my dotting tool here and kind of make a little design. All right. Okay, so now I am going to give it about 30 seconds because I just want it to kind of adhere together a little bit before I go in and stamp it. Um, only because I don't want it to run 
um, <clears throat> it has where, you know, you might get that effect where it might run. And I don't want it to do that. I kind of want to be able to pick up the image and it looks really nice on the stamper. So let's give it a try. So you see, it did run a little bit, but if you look, the design is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to kind of clean it up a little bit. Kind of just shape it to what it should be. If I would have given it like at least five more seconds, it would have dried up. It would have, you know, been perfect timing. Because again, it, it, you do have to play around with the timing and make sure that you pick it up to where you have a good image. So as you see, ah! Okay, we're still in the, in the clear. <laughs> So right there, you have this awesome image that you can go ahead and stamp. And I'm going to use this popstick. It's pink, but uh, maybe i use a green one. Maybe it'll look better. Okay, we'll use the green one. And we'll just go ahead and stamp that. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. I mean, again, it's not perfect, but there's so much that you can do with these guides that is so awesome. So I'm gonna ha go ahead and um, pull one off and hopefully they're dry. <laughs> Let's see, I don't know if they're gonna be dry yet. I doubt it. Oh, look at that. Okay, so as you see, they're now stuck onto the mat. And you have these really cool water marble designs. Now, of course, can you do this on the mat? No, I mean you can if it's if you put a lot of polish but if you kind of want to keep it consistent and together and be able to make the drops really good you can definitely play around them of course again this is really fast really quick to show you guys but you can do so many things um, I did this one and look how cool it came out with kind of being a little bit more um, giving it more sorry my hands are so dirty giving it more finesse with uh, the drops and stuff so this is how they look once the decals are on um, I'm sorry I tried to videotape with um, showing you guys how I actually applied the decals but unfortunately it didn't record but it came out really really cool I do love the way they came out and for the colors that I used, I used this awesome yellow from Sally Hansen Insta Dry. These work really well, especially even for stamping. They're awesome. The cream color ones, almost all of them work really well. Um, a lot of them even work over black. So if you are into stamping and you haven't tried these, you really should. Um, for the black, I used this one from Funky Fingers, which is Dark Knight. And for the white that I used um, is just this one here from Salon Express, which is a, um, it's actually a stamping polish, but uh, it's not a very stark white, but I do use it for, you know, just overall white these days. I've been using that one a lot. Um, to apply my decals, I've been just, I just used uh, this from Wet n Wild, which works great. This is actually the base coat. Um, but either the base coat or the top coat, these work really, really well um, for decals. So I do hope that you like this and um, use the guides um, in order to really do some really cool stuff. I am going to be showing another video on something else that I think is really cool with using the guides. So I hope you enjoy this. Until next one, bye guys!